morning. My name is Lisa. So today we are going to create a Cricut Joy card map project in Design Space, starting from a blank canvas. And today's card is for the Cricut Joy branded card pack size, which is an Imperial A2 card size. Other sizes in the description box below. Just before we get started, if you haven't already, go ahead and click that subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Let's get started. So today we are going to make a card using a quick technique that Cricut I'm pretty sure doesn't want you to know especially if you don't have Cricut access. So we are going to make a card, we are going to make it for the Cricut branded card pack size and we are going to jump right into it and I'm going to show you a few tricks along the way. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to images. Then we are going to go to the filter free. Then we're going to type in card. And then we're going to do what Priya probably doesn't want you to know. Optimize experience for Explorer 3. Now you'll see you've got lots of extra options coming up. Hello. Let's look for a thank you card. Here we go. Here's one here. I'm going to add this to Canvas. It's free for Explorer 3 users. Right, so it's come in, it's saying all good. Now I'm going to change my experience back to Cricut Joy. And now I've got errors here. So the pen is not supported by Joy and the scoring tool, of course, that's not supported. We know that. So we're going to go zero, zero. Now I'm working in a m Imperial size project, so I'm going to change my units to Imperial. Now, first of all, let's deal with this card. So we're going to ungroup. We are going to detach. Now we're going to zoom in a bit because that's a bit small on my eyes. Now from here, I'm going to find where this score line is and it's at position 2.404. That's very important for us to know. So from here, I'm going to go to shapes. I'm going to go to square. Now from here, I'm going to unlock this and I'm going to make this width exactly that number I told you before, whatever that was. Now I'm not great with imperial numbers. I'm more of a metrics person, but I do find that the conversion is not quite as accurate as I would like it to be. Okay, so from here, we've got thanks. If you want to change the pen and just stick with thanks, you can change it to a fine point pen. The four millimeter, the point four millimeter pen is the one that comes in the box. Sometimes my machine tells me that's still not compatible and I need to use an extra fine point pen. Black is working for now. Let's just roll with that. I'm going to delete the score line because I'm happy with that. I'm going to select the two layers, the green layer and the square that I made and I'm going to select slice. So now I'm going to turn this into a joy compatible project. So from here I'm just going to delete everything that I don't want from the slice. I'm also going to do this the reverse way so I'm going to get rid of this backing sheet because I don't need it. Now you can stick reattach this, stick with thanks uh, but first of all, I'm going to reattach this and I'm going to make it the size that I actually want it, which is going to be the insert size. So that is four inches by, and we're going to unlock this now, to 5.25 inches. Now I can relock it. Perfect. Now if I want to stick with thanks, I can. I can also go ahead and change this font. So I'm going to go to text. I'm going to start again. I'm going to use a stencil font. I'm just going to show you quickly. I normally tick untick. If you have good fonts on your machine or if you've downloaded something, system is where you're going to find that. Cricut, stencil, scroll down, find something that doesn't have a price. And we're going to run with that. And I'm going to make this for a 50 birthday card. Pop that down here. It's going to cut that out into that. 
perfect and then we are going to delete this layer detach and attach so it's going to cut that out looks looks like it's going to work perfectly fine lovely so that is going to be the insert that we're going to cut now we are going to go to shapes no shapes images corners free filter should reduce our results come on computer try and get it going yep there we go ta-da add to canvas now this should come in the correct size perfect so four inches by 5.25 inches now this is going to be our card and this is going to be our insert and we're going to see how this works out i'm super excited so i'm just going to check that that is the theory i've got in my head is going to work you could also do it this way and then attach attach it that way but i want to see what it looks like the other way because it's going to be good all right so from here if you haven't already press save then go ahead and press make it it's going to sort mats by color we are doing an insert and a card even though we're doing the Cricut Joy uh, branded stuff I'm still going to need to do two sets of cuts so I'm going to go with basic so this basic cut here is going to be on the card mat because that's the card okay now for some reason it's not allowing me to change my material size uh, sometimes it does it'll bring it back nicely it doesn't matter if it doesn't so just make sure you're in the top left hand corner second one it's either depends on what material you're going to cut this insert out of i'm just going to use regular cardstock and i'm not going to use the insert that came in the packet so i'm just going to go with regular cardstock on a mat now again up to you i'm going to stick with the top left hand corner but if you keep using the top left hand corner you will wear out the top left hand corner off your mat so that is up to you and then we're going to go up ahead and press continue Okay, so while we're pressing continue, we're going to check that our machine is turned on. I've got my card mat all ready to go. I took my dust cover off and I put my material on it. Now, what I am going to do here is for my second mat, which is my insert, which I'm using cardstock today, I am going to just stick with the green mat today and I'm just going to use my scraping tool to see how it goes. Now my cardstock is 210 GSM, so it's on the borderline as to which mat. Um, but this is just the one that comes with the box, so I'm just going to stick with that for today. So now it's going to ask me what sort of cardstock I am using. I am going to go with the insert card. Uh, it's up to you what pressure works best. I've been finding I need a little bit more with my my current blade it's probably blunting though so you might need to experiment with what works for you and now it's asking me to load so and it's asking me to load the card map so let's go <laughs> unload now it's asking for mat number two Now it's asking what I'm using. Now I'm using medium cardstock. It's checking my mat is loaded. Now it's allowing me to change my pressure to more and then I'm going to press go. Now that was an intricate cut. Now I'm going to press unload very important step we have to press finish after weeding pop the insert cut into the slots and that's it a super easy super cute card if you liked the video today please go ahead and give this video a huge thumbs up for me 
If it is the first time you're watching me, make sure it is not the last. Go ahead and click that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you are amongst the first to know when I release a new video. Thanks for watching.